David looked up unto God and he said to God, Look upon my affliction and my pain and forgive all my sins. He looked up unto God. He presented the afflictions, the pains, the things that may have caused him to be in sorrow. And God made sure everything he presented to God was lifted. Dear child of God, please receive this word of God today that everything shall be lifted. God wants you to know that everything you have spoken to him about, yes, the things you were not proud of. He said, forgive all my sins. He says, look upon my afflictions. Look upon my pains. And the Lord looked to his direction. Dear child of God, I have a good news for you today. You have drawn the attention of God and God is looking towards your direction right now. Dear child of God, I have a good news for you today. God is looking into that matter. I have a good news for you today. God is looking into those things that you had presented to him, those petitions, those things you cried to him about. God is looking into them and he would make sure he redeems your soul. He would make sure he take you out of that trouble. He would take you out of everything that the enemies had planned to destroy you with in Jesus' mighty name. He said, look upon my affliction. God is looking upon you today. His eyes are fixed upon you. And I want you to know this today, dear child of God. You will testify. You will testify of how God did it supernaturally in the mighty name of Jesus. Does it seem like the troubles in your heart are enlarging? Does it seem like the things that has befallen you are increasing day by day? I have a good news for you, dear child of God, that God will bring you out. He will bring you out of those distresses. He will bring you out of those limitations. It will bring you out of those things the enemies had used to destroy you. Those things that the enemies had used to bring you down. Those things that the enemies had intended to see that your life will be pained and hurt. Dear child of God, the Lord wants you to know that he will bring you out of all of those troubles in Jesus' mighty name. David went to God. He prayed to God. He said, the troubles of my heart are enlarged. Oh, bring down me out of my distresses and God brought him out of every of those distresses that he had reasons to rejoice. God gave him settlement round about. Dear child of God, what are those things that have distressed your soul? Is it some health condition? Is it the issues you are going through in your marriage? Is it the issues with your children? Dear child of God, is it some financial situation? Is it some things that has to do with the pursuit that you know you had for a long time? Is it your dreams or aspirations? Dear child of God, whatever they are, God will make sure that those troubles are no longer enlarging in the name of Jesus. And those things that are supposed to distress your soul and bring you to the point of destruction, God will take you out. I have a good news for you today, dear child of God. God will make sure that every of those troubles will fade away in Jesus' mighty name. Remember what he said. He says, come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden. He says, I will give you rest. Dear child of God, go to God today. Go to Jesus with every of those burdens because he is your burden bearer. Go to him with everything that may have brought you distress. And I want to assure you, every single thing that had cost your heart to be heavy, that it caused you to sorrow, that may have brought trouble to you, shall be lifted up in Jesus' mighty name. Dear child of God, God will cause you to testify. God will cause you to rejoice because everything will be working for your good. You may have given up. You may have thought already that this would meet your end. You may have thought that you would not get out of that sickness and affliction. Dear child of God, you may have thought that that error, that mistake, that sin that you had made would meet your very end. But I have a good news for you today. God is looking towards your direction with his eyes of mercy and he will deliver you. 
in Jesus' mighty name. God wants you to know that you would recover. God wants you to know, dear child of God, that everything that may have been taken from you, you shall recover all in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God said, and that they may recover themselves. Dear child of God, you may be in some net, you may be in some trap, you may be in captivity. The Lord wants you to know that you will be set free in the mighty name of Jesus. He will give you the supernatural strength. He will give you the supernatural might and you will come out from all the snares that the enemies are laid privily to destroy you in the mighty name of Jesus. 2 Timothy 2 verse 26 says, And that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him at his will. Dear child of God, God will make sure you are recovered. God will make sure you are restored back to your home. God will make sure you are restored back to your marriage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The children that may have been taken away from you, those who walked away from you and denied you, dear child of God, you would recover them all in the mighty name of Jesus. Your possessions, your blessings, everything that you had labored for that may have been taken away from you, God wants you to know today that you yourself will recover them all because he's giving you the strength, he's giving you the might, and it will make you stronger than all those who may have taken you captive. It will make you stronger than all those who may have denied you your blessings or who may have stolen the things that are yours. Dear child of God, today, just like David recovered all that was taken from him, you will recover all. Receive this good news from the Lord. You will recover everything that are yours and you would have reasons to rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus. God who knows how to settle every life, God who knows how to settle every soul, He will say to you and it will cause there to be an upliftment in your life that everyone around you will know that He has settled you and He had caused you to recover everything that are yours in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. David inquired of God. He went out there and he recovered all. Go to the place of inquiry today, dear child of God. Ask the Lord for direction. And I have this good news for you today. You will see clearly. You will hear clearly everything God wants you to do. And you would recover all. You will give your testimonies of recovery in Jesus' mighty name. All round recovery and settlement you will testify of. In Jesus' mighty name, I call it dawn because it is settled and you cannot be denied what is yours in Jesus' name because God is going to bring a change in your life and your situation in Jesus' mighty name. The troubles that are enlarging, God will make sure they are suppressed and gone from you in Jesus' mighty name. I call it dawn because it is settled and you will see the mighty act of God's wonders in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It would uplift you out of everything that the enemies had planned to destroy you. Yes, the mistakes you had made also, God will deliver you. And it would make sure you are lifted out of the snares of everything that the enemies had planned to also use to trap you down in Jesus' mighty name. Good news, dear child of God. Around the attention of God is looking towards your direction and it will cause you to be delivered in Jesus' mighty name. It will cause you to overcome. It will cause you to testify and you will rejoice for his wonderful act, for the great things that he had done in Jesus' mighty name. God is looking towards your direction. Cry no more, dear child of God, for you will see the mighty deliverance of God. They said, give thanks to the Lord. His faithful love continues forever. They began to sing and praise him. Then the Lord showed up. My God. Then the Lord brought victories to them. They began to praise the Lord. And immediately the enemies got confused. They began to praise the Lord. And immediately the enemies went on head on against themselves. Dear child of God. That moment you know you are having those battles against you, 
That moment you know everyone are standing against you. That moment you know they have ganged up against you. Just go and praise the Lord. And what he will do is to bring confusion in the camp of the enemy. The people of God did not go on crying. They did not bury their head in despair. They did not bury their head in shame. They did not bury their head lamenting. They buried their head to worship the Lord. They bowed their head to praise the Lord. And as soon as they did, the Lord brought confusion in the camp of the enemy. Dear child of God, do not allow that situation. Do not allow those people who have been fighting against you. See you put your head down in despair. Do not give up right in front of them. They may be looking at you burying your head. They may be looking at you going down. They may be looking at you bending down, but they may not understand what you are doing. To them, it will look as if they have won. To them, it will look as if they have broken you down. To them, it will look as if they have succeeded in bringing you down. But what they did not know is that you were receiving the power right there to praise and worship the Lord. You were receiving the power to see that they are confused. The people of God, they all bowed to worship the Lord. And the enemies at the other end thought they were bowing down as a sign of defeat. The people at the other end thought they were bowing down as a sign of surrender. But they did not know that they were surrendering all to God. Dear child of God, go to God. Lay prostrate before Him. Bow down before Him and surrender to Him. When you do, you will discover that everything will be taken care of by him. You cannot bow before God and end up bowing before men. You cannot kneel before God and kneeling before men. It is not possible, dear child of God. When you look as if you have been defeated, when you look as if the enemy is having the upper hand, do not worry. Convert it to your worship and prayer to God. Convert it to your total submission to God. Convert it to your surrendering to God. And you will see the Lord do it in a massive and a powerful way. They came against the people of God. And all they could do was to bow down. Dear child of God, when you are in that phase of a situation, when you are in that phase of opposition, and it seems as if it is taking you to your knees, it seems as if that is already breaking you, Convert it to your worship, dear child of God. Convert it to praise unto God. And you will see God take over. You will see the Lord take over the fight for you and bring you victories. That time the enemy thought they were breaking you. Dear child of God, refuse to break down. Refuse to get weary. Refuse to tire. Convert it to your weapon of worship. Convert it to your weapon of praise. And say to God, I bow before you. It may look like the enemies are breaking me, but I'm converting it to my strength of prayer. I'm converting it to worship unto you. I'm converting it to surrendering unto you because I have learned that I cannot bow before you and end up bowing before men. When I bow before you, it means that situation must bow. When I kneel before you, it means that situation must kneel. When I kneel before you, it means that situation will be brought down. Whatever it is that may have exalted themselves, the Lord will bring them down. And this is my assurance to you, dear child of God. Know how to go to God. When it seems as if the problems, the challenges, the situations are mounting up in a way and manner that you cannot understand, go to God and surrender yourself to Him. Go to God like Jehoshaphat did and all the people of the land. They laid prostrate before God. They were worshipping the Lord. And as they did, they were praising the Lord. And as they did and said those words to God, for His good and His mercies endured forever. They said His loving kindness endures forever. And out of that, God brought the victory. God brought them that victory that they so desired. The word of the Lord says, Arise, O Lord. O God, lift up thine hand, forget not the humble. When you humble yourself before God, as the word of the Lord says in Psalms chapter 10 verse 12, God will arise for you. When you humble yourself before him, he will arise for you. And when he arises for you, 
he will crush your enemy he will condemn the wicked because when he did when he said to god arise O lord O god lift up thine hand forget not the humble and the word of the lord said in verse 15 of psalms 10 break thou the harm of the wicked and the evil man break thou the arm of the wicked and the evil man dear child of the lord as you humble yourself before god the lord will break the arms of the enemy he will break the arms of everyone who have been contending against you know how to go to god in humble adoration know how to surrender yourself to god know how to lay prostrate before him so when it looks like that situation is breaking you down convert it to your weapon convert it to that weapon of your victory when it seems as if that situation is breaking you down convert it to your tool of victory when it seems as if that situation has caused you to lose hope convert it to you humbling yourself and he has said it do not he would never forget the humble and what it does to the humble is to say that it will break the arms of the enemy just to bring a compensation to their life the lord will compensate you and they will compensate you with that victory that you so seek in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of the Lord, the Lord is bringing you that victory. Dear child of God, the Lord wants you to win in this fight. And this is why he's telling you, lift up your voice to him. Just like Moses who sang and he sang and God brought victory to him. He sang and the Lord discomfited his enemy. Sing unto God your song of praise. Sing unto God your songs of victory. And you will see the Lord bring you victories in the mighty name of Jesus. He has lifted you up and he will keep you being lifted in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, that man will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works. My God, dear child of God, praise him because when you do, he will bring his goodness to you. Praise him because when you do, he will bring that victory that you so desire. Do not allow anything cause you to shut your mouth in praising God because you have seen that victory that he has destined for you to receive. But when you are shut up, my God, when you can no longer praise him, you will discover you may be giving the victories to the enemies. Dear child of the Lord, you have the victory. So learn from Jehoshaphat. Learn to bow down before God. Learn like Jehoshaphat. Learn to give God the praise. Learn like Jehoshaphat. Learn to go before God and say, Lord Jesus, I know you have brought this victory and this victory will be ours and you will see it happen in the mighty name of Jesus. So lift up your voice unto him and say, Lord Jesus, I await my victory. Lift up your voice unto him and say, Lord, I believe. I believe that you are my overcomer. Lift up your voice unto him and say, I believe. I believe that I have that victory. Lift up your voice unto him and say, Lord, I trust in you. I trust in you because you can never fail. And you will see him show up for you. You will see him bring that victory that you so desire. Dear child of the Lord, you have that victory. And the Lord will bring your heart desires to you. Humble yourself before him and he will break the arms of the wicked. He will break the arms of everyone who are against you. And you will laugh because he has brought that victory to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.